Hey everyone, welcome to Evan Metal. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit on the chronograph. I've got two really cool pistols out here. Uh, first up is, what was this thing, 1956. Took a rev. 7.62 by 25 is the cartridge that it shoots. That is this bad boy right here. Yeah, wicked little round. That is just a neat, neat firearm. And we're going to put it up against the Beretta 92S in 9mm. Guys, you're talking about a shooter. This, this here is a shooter. I really, really enjoyed this. I like both of them, but i got to say, out of the two, I really like the 92. Um, that thing just really suits me, fits my hand well, and I've got it trained to hit the target. So, good pistol. Both of them's good pistol. And for it, I just got some basic 115 grain total ammo 9mm full metal jacket stuff. Which both of these will be considered, in my opinion, range ammo. And I think they'll do good for a chronograph test to pit these two against each other. Now, we do want to throw a thanks out to our buddy Randy. Both of these are his firearms, and he provided the ammo as well. Guys, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, if the man would have walked out here and shot the video for me and edited it, right? So, everybody, throw a big shout out to Randy. He's a cool guy and just super nice and very much appreciated. So guys, tell me what you think. This chromograph set up are going to be approximately what, 10, 12 feet away from it. We'll put three shots each across there. That should give us a good average. And we'll just see how fast each one of these are going. Let's say 7.62 by 25 versus the common nine millimeter. All right, let's grab us some ears here. Gonna be a little loud. I got coffee on them. Yeah, that's always a good thing, ain't it? Coffee is very important, you know. Alright, first up, we'll do the 7.62 by 25. And the Tokarev, Tokarov, however you say it. Throw that one on the ground, we didn't need it. Oh, get back here. Crooked bullet, not going to shoot straight. Oh, so three of them. I think the favorite thing I like about this, it's a single stack, and it's just got that 1911 feel to it. And it's just, I mean, for the age and all, this is a nice one. Well, we've got a chrono on, we've got a little sunshine. So uh, let's just see what kind of speeds we can get out of these. Wow, 1389. 1320. And 1348. Now guys, that is a low-cost range ammo. But, in my opinion, that stuff's booking it along pretty good. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm thrilled with them speeds. I'll throw the average right up here. Now, let me grab two more of our uh, nine the millimeter. And we'll fire up this Beretta right here. See what kind of speed we can get out of this low-cost toy lamp up. Oh, yeah, that thing just feels so good in the hand. Now for the Beretta. Twelve sixty-one. Twelve 
1249. And a 1202. We are clear. Hey, for some low cost range ammo, that Tella wasn't Tula ammo, or whatever you call it. That stuff wasn't slow neither. I put them averages up here. And I also do a uh, difference between the two and post it up top as well. Well, guys, I mean, there you have it. As far as speed, Clear winner is a 7.62 by 25, and there's some hotter rounds than this PPU out there. So, you can see why this back in the day was a very popular handgun and a very popular round. Had some speed to it and still had some knockdown power. So, I mean, very impressive cartridge there. And 9mm, you know, been around for a day or two. But uh, super popular as well nowadays. Everybody loves them. And it's uh, probably one of the most common rounds. But I mean, you know, for the feet per second that was putting out, and like I say, this is the, uh, you know, some of the cheapest stuff that you can get. That's still no joke. I'm very impressed by both of them and just really enjoy shooting both of them firearms. I need like a case of each ammo and just have a fun day out here. That would be cool. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed shooting it. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day. He's getting it now.